And in other news, NASA recently completed its DART mission, successfully showing how Earth-based technology can blow up a potential extraterrestrial threat, such as an asteroid, before it hits Earth. Major NASA contractors such as SpaceX participated in the mission, but once again, Israel proves that it has played a crucial part in yet another international space mission, as one small Israeli startup designed technology that contributed to this success. Here with more is aerospace correspondent for the Jerusalem Post, Yafit Ovadia. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lidar. So tell us more about the NASA DART mission. What was the goal? Right. So uh, the NASA DART mission stands for the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. And its mission was to test a method of planetary defense against near-Earth objects. Now, this specific asteroid posed no real actual threat to the Earth. This was merely a test in space. But it tested how um, it could use an object, such as a spacecraft, to hit an asteroid and deflect it off of its orb and slower its orbital speed using momentum to kind of slow it down. Almost like science fiction movies. Exactly. And how exactly does DART work? Right, so DART involved two separate spacecraft, one which was designed by NASA, and there was another one, um, a satellite, the Lycia Cube satellite, which was designed by the Italian Space Agency. And that actually took a picture of this happening. Now, the spacecraft was traveling through 56,000 miles of space, and it hit the asteroid at roughly 14,000 miles per hour and kind of knocked it off its course a little bit. Uh, its goal was not to explode the asteroid, but to steer it away from Earth. And it managed to do that successfully. And it was successfully. So had this asteroid been he heading for Earth, it would have been able to we would alter its safe, course? It would have been yes. safe. So, you know, you mentioned that this was an international mission, mm -hmm. that there were the, the Italian Space Agency, mm -hmm. NASA. I mean, who were, exactly was involved in this mission? Right. So NASA has the, its own uh, contractors. That would be SpaceX and also Northrop Grumman. I mean, it also worked with the Italian Space Agency, as I mentioned previously, but Israel actually played a very small part in this, uh, which is quite surprising. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the role that Israel mm -hmm. played in this mission? Right, so I spoke to um, a space tech startup called Ramon Space. Now they design computing solutions and storage solutions uh, for satellites and spacecraft. Now they happen to design a small processor that helped serve the Italian satellite and helped in delivering some of these close-up close images of the collision. So basically, we were able to see, thanks to this Israeli technology, we were actually able to see the collision and sort of everything happen in right. real time and in, in action? Yeah, and some of those images were really startling, how it captured its, first of all, it's in deep space. Things don't work that well out there, and it captured, like, live, this collision happening, and there are some images that are probably going to be broadcast on screen. They're very fascinating. That's really fascinating. And, you know, so the DART mission was successful. Is there any mm -hmm. follow-up to, to the DART mission? I mean, any other potential tests that we're going to do or any large asteroids that are maybe heading for Earth? Well, I don't really know, Lidar. We'll have to see. <laughs> All right. And, you know, speaking of upcoming missions, um, mm -hmm. Israel's space program was really put on the map uh, with the Bereshit uh, moon landing, which unfortunately didn't succeed in full, uh, but we did manage to make it mm -hmm. to the moon. Right. Um, now everyone's looking forward to the next mission. Are there any updates that you can share with us regarding the, you know, the next Bereshit mission as, as the 2023 approaches? Right, uh, well, gladly. Um, first of all, Space IL is really closing in on some of those uh, agreements. Last year, I reported that uh, Space IL was really interested. It sent out a call for proposals to let other countries and companies participate in the Bereshit mission. So, so far, it's closed a few different agreements um, with, first of all, with Ramon Space, which I've mentioned previously. They're also partnering with another space tech startup called Lulav Space to design a la landing navigation sensor system to see the spacecraft make a safe landing this time. Um, they've also signed, Space IL has also signed agreements with a Swedish manufacturer called AAC Clyde Space to design some of the mission computers uh, for the landers. And recently, it's also signed some agreements with American aerospace giants uh, Northrop Grumman and Moog uh, to purchase uh, engines and also some fuel tanks. So we're seeing how this is all really starting to come together. Very exciting. Thank you so much for taking the Thank time you, to speak with us today. Hi, everyone.
everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.